Space check created with my wizard page that ship at stop track. Good morning. How you doing? I'm Paul, your Uncle Squinty. How was your weekend? Mine was pretty boring. <laughs> we spent the weekend reading talking books. Because it was very cold and very gray here. And, you know. Reading a great crime novel by a lady named Karen Slaughter, a native of Atlanta, Georgia. The book is called Blind Sided. Yeah, it starts out with a blind lesbian college professor getting stabbed to death in a toilet stall. Great, fantastic, uplifting family reading. Anyway, <laughs> I am pleased to show you this. I just got these. Uh, this is... There it is right in front of you. This is one of the new Missouri Meerschaum Cobbit series. And uh, see what they did there? Uh, Cobbit, Hobbit. Uh, you guys are so clever down in Missouri. And um, all of these church wardens, and I'm very glad that Missouri Meerschaum is now producing church wardens. I like the church warden style of pipe a lot. It cools the smoke, looks cool. I'm smoking some Samuel Goweth full Virginia Flake, and there's a story that I'm going to share with you about that. I got three of these. Um, this is the one of the two mid-sized models. This is called the Elf. Now, they also have a mid-sized model called the Shire. The tobacco chamber in the Shire is about the same as this. Uh, however, the bowl is sort of a, an egg shape, half an egg. Uh, it does not sit on a table. Uh, and it smokes very well. The problem is with both this one and I also got the, the larger one, the biggest one, which is called the Wizard. And the Wizard is truly immense. It's a big pipe. In fact, almost a little bit too large for me to enjoy smoking. I don't like to smoke big, long bowls of tobacco like that. Uh, and it's a good thing I probably won't smoke it because the stem on that one and on this elf, unfortunately, are really loose in the shank. And in the case of this one, it's loose to the point where it even sucks a little air. Uh, not good. Now, I can understand. I'm pretty sure Missouri Meerschaum rushed these to market in time for Christmas. And their quality control might have lapsed a little bit. Such things happen. Uh, I will get on the phone today with Missouri Meerschaum and complain and maybe get replacements for both the wizard and the elf, because I'm not happy with the way the stems fit. But it is an elegant pipe. Love the bowl shape. Fits great in my hand. All of these uh, cobbits have the wooden bottoms, the oak wood bottom. I think it's oak. And are much less likely to burn through. Even so, I will mud these pipes. Unfortunately, I just went to my little humidor jar, and I do not have one cigar that isn't flavored with something. I've got Eileen's Dream and Moon Trance and some honey cigars and I've got some uh, cinnamon cigarillos from uh, Sri Lanka, but no plain cigars. So I've got nothing with which to make pipe mud. Of course, a problem with any cob when you first smoke it is you get kind of that corny taste to it. Look at, do you see how that stem wiggles? That's not good, guys. And, of course, it makes it tough to keep the uh, pipe lit. Um, talking about the Full Virginia Flake, when I first opened my very first tin of Full Virginia Flake, I was excited because it was my first, or one of my first, flake tobaccos. And I was really disappointed because it was really flat to me. There's a little sweetness there, but it was pretty much like smoking a, a decent cigarette, which is not the flavor I was looking for. And I talked to my good friend, Dr. Fred Hanna, who many of you may know as a pipe expert. And he strongly suggested stoving any Virginias that I find to be a little too flat or a little too one-dimensional. You can put them in a 190 degree Fahrenheit oven for five hours, either in their fresh unopened tin 
or in my case, because I'd already opened the tin to try the tobacco, you can just use a mason jar like this, and you put them in that 190 degree Fahrenheit, that's about 45 Celsius oven, and I'll leave it there for five hours, and it forces the conversion of some sugars and sort of forces maturation of the tobacco. The result is delicious. So, Dr. Fred Hanna, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate the tip. And please do recover quickly from your surgery. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Fred went in for some fairly serious thoracic surgery on Christmas Eve. And I hope he is recovering well. I haven't spoken to him uh, since the surgery. But Fred, if you're watching this, best wishes for a very fast recovery. Fred is a good guy. If you get the chance to get to know him, you really should. Uh, and he does know pipe smoking, guys. He really does. Um, and is a big fan and uh, blender, in fact, of Englishes and Balkans. In fact, he has two blends that are sold by McClellan, one of which is called Legends, which I have not yet tried, and the other one is called Wilderness, which I have tried and, in fact, have posted a review of here on YouTube. Good stuff. I do love the church warden in the way that it cools the smoke. I think it's fantastic. According to Dr. Hanna, um, the temperature of the smoke, when it leaves the uh, lip of the pipe, should be at about body temperature. In other words, you shouldn't perceive any warmth in the smoke. You should just get taste. And uh, church wardens are very good for that. They, they cool the smoke. I tend to smoke a little too hard. My cadence is a little too fast. I tend to flare tobacco pretty easily. And as a result, get tongue bite. Well, with a church warden, it's really hard to get your tongue bitten because the smoke gets so nicely cooled. Just that little extra distance in the stem makes an incredible difference. Overall, I'm pleased with the design of the pipe. I Again, I'm going to have to complain about the way the stem fits, because it's not smoking well. Uh, and in the case of the large one, the wizard I got, it will never be smokable. I'm going to have to get a replacement on that pipe if I want to smoke it. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic week. Try the deal with uh, stoning the Virginias. Uh, it's a great idea if you want to improve flat or one-dimensional Virginia tobaccos. I think it's something you could really use. Really tremendous. I will say if you're a Braille user, however, do not put plastic Braille labels on your mason jars before sticking them in the oven because the Braille does flatten out. Uh, regarding the Missouri Beersham Cobbett series, these are great pipes. Very disappointed in the lack of quality control and the way the stem fits. I will seek a replacement, uh, and I'm sure they'll make good on it. They're good people down there in Washington, Missouri. From the Dank Basement, I hope you all have a fantastic week. Work hard, play hard, rest well, and please do keep your smokes lit. No matter what anyone says, it's one of God's good gifts. Enjoy your tobacco responsibly. And if you're a kid and not yet a smoker, don't start! From the dank basement, I'm your Uncle Squinty. Hey, thanks for watching, as always. This stupid thing, I really want to keep it lit, guys. It's not working. The tobacco's delicious. Delicious. What are you going to do?